The Special Investigating Unit last week announced uh, that it had obtained a High Court Preservation order to freeze nine luxury properties, cars and two restaurants valued at about 25 million rand belonging to various individuals. And one of those linked to this latest development is actress uh, Terry Petto, whose property is among those part of this order. Now, she then released a statement uh, saying she was dismayed and had not had sight of that order. And this, remember, is part of the ongoing probe into the National Lotteries Commission. Let's speak to Kaiser Khanyaho, who is the SIU's spokesperson. Dr. Khanyaho, thank you so much for your time this evening. Let's just start with, of course, uh, clarifying this latest development that we saw. I'm sure you've seen on social media as well. Ms. Petro saying that she's dismayed and had not set her eyes on the order, but also looking at some of the reports and what you've been quoted as saying in various reports, that uh, she was duly notified in time. Please clarify that for us. Good evening and good evening to your viewers. Yes, we can. We, we saw the statement that was issued, I think, on Saturday. And I think in the beginning of that statement, it starts by saying that she was not aware that she was a subject of an investigation, which uh, cannot be correct because we before we, we even did this as part of our investigation, we met with her about two months ago to indicate to her and also to get her side of the story before we could do this uh, preservation order. And then therefore that cannot be correct to say she only knew on Saturday or on Friday when we issued the statement. And secondly, she's talking about the issue of, of, of not having prior knowledge of, of the order before it, we took it to court. And we said, we never give anybody an opportunity to know because just imagine if we were to tell you that we were trying to get a forfeiture against you, uh, maybe, for example, for the car that is there on the thing, the car can be put away and then be hidden. Therefore, we do this uh, uh, in in a court alone with the, with the judge, and we give the evidence to the judge for the judge to be in a position to make the decision, and then we serve you. It's only then that you'll have an opportunity to respond when we go for the forfeiture order after we have served with the preservation order. Let's talk about, uh, you know, the links here, because there's talk of her having been linked to funds that were given to an NPO involved in those funds that's then being sent to the developer. Very briefly, tell us what exactly uh, appears to be the MO here. Yes, what, what has happened in this particular instance is that a money was paid, was supposed to be paid into an NPO for a specific project. And that money found going through other people found its way to the lawyers that were responsible to buy the house that she's staying in and that is what has happened in this particular instance and we were able to follow the money in all of the people and the, the trusts that you see in our statement the same modus operandi was done money was used for the purposes that what was not intended to be used for and in this instance it's only where we were able to trace the money directly into the purchase of these properties the two ocean baskets and the car i suppose then uh, that's where the preservation order then comes in they'll then be later given an opportunity to then clarify how they got the funds or what happened here Definitely, we, because we are now having proof and we're able to give the proof to the judge and, and show the, the judge that this is where the money landed, the judge has now given the preservation order, which means they are not allowed to do anything with those properties until this matter of forfeiture is put before the court. And then once that happens, they have the opportunity. We are, we are given 90 days to put this uh, matter before the court. And then they will have an opportunity to uh, explain to the court where they got these uh, uh, properties and how they got them. And if they are able to prove that they, there was nothing untowards, so be it. But if they are unable to prove that, then we'll be, we will then have to have mm. a forfeiture order where these houses and these cars and these uh, ocean baskets will now be forfeited to the state will sell them and take the money back to the National Lottery Commission. Let's talk about another matter because it, it, it's also according to some signaling just how possibly deep the rot goes here at the National Lotteries Commission. In 2020, we saw reports suggesting that Ms. Carol Bauer may have gotten about 7 million rands from the National Lotteries Commission. I wonder, is she among the persons of interest? I'm sure you may say that you are potentially not going to be able to tell us about that, but if you can't, 
Are there any more arrests that we can expect here? But first clarify if she is a person of interest. Yes, I, I don't want to, to speak about people of interest. Like I always say that we do not investigate people. We investigate processes and we find people. All I can say to you is there are investigations that are going on. There are a number of, of, of processes that we are looking into that involve a lot of other people. And all I can say for now is we must watch this space because we can only talk when there is an outcome. We don't want to talk when investigations are ongoing because things change when investigation happen. Today, you might find this kind of information and tomorrow it might be something else. Let us not put people's names in it now until that process is done. And, and as always, we promise we will make sure that people know what has happened once that has been finalized. All right, Dr. Khanyok, thank you so much for your time. And of course, looking at the new board, even, um, you know, at the National Lotteries Commission, the chair there who started in September talking very tough about the action that needs to unfold here. But uh, let's see, as you say, we must wait and see what unfolds. That's Kaiser Khanyok, SIU spokesperson. Let's